Hey everybody, it's Marcus. Welcome back for our June 2022 Tesla Solar Panels and Powerwalls monthly update. It's June, it's hot, it's the summer, it's been over 100 degrees here for weeks on end. Uh, our house usage is way up, but our production is also way up. Um, you might see some graphs that used to look like this. You know, by the middle of the day, we're sending back a ton to the grid. Now nah, they're looking like this. Uh, all house usage pretty much barely sending much back to the grid. Even though we're producing the most that we've produced all year, we're also using the most. So uh, this is gonna be a weird month where we may actually not send as much back to the grid, but we'll check that out in the data later. Uh, so what's going on this month? One, change your air filters. Do it in your AC unit in your house. It'll run more efficiently. It's probably caked in dust anyway if you haven't done it in a while. And for us here in Northern California, the state's gonna catch on fire in about a month or two. So you should go ahead and do it now. Go to Home Depot, get those filters, because a month or two from now, when there's smoke everywhere, they're gonna be sold out. Get them now, get ahead of it, change it. It'll run more efficiently. Good things, good things. Do it in your car too. Mine always smells like mold. Good old Model 3 filters. Anyways, uh, other updates for this month are that we were finally let into the virtual power plant. I think it took us three or four applications to get into it. We were doing the uh, Ohm Connect program for a demand response program for about a year. Uh, it was good, it, good while it lasted. Unfortunately, they kind of penalized the solar users, so we decided to go to the virtual power plant here when it's when it was announced uh, at two dollars per kilowatt hour on top of our normal usage. I think they estimated uh, with our three power walls or forty kilowatt hours of storage to be uh, about seventy five dollars an event. Uh, so that's much more lucrative than Gnome Connect was. Um, so we switched over. It did take about three weeks for Ohm Connect to finally unlink themselves from our PG&E account. I'm not sure why that took so long, so I tried applying like basically once a week, and on the third or fourth week, they finally accepted us in. So, haven't been any events yet, but uh, hopefully we'll see something here soon. Uh, I'm very excited about it. Uh, as always, you can refer yourself for a system here. It's uh, down below if you need it in the comments, the, the link. Just click on that, order your system. It'll be $300 off. You can always self-refer yourself if you already have a Tesla vehicle. Just keep that in mind. Uh, but with that going on, if you have any questions, comments, anything, leave them down below. Make sure you subscribe and like to the channel. And uh, let's take a look at the data this month. Looking at the house usage for June here, you can see uh, we used about 20% more in June than we did in May. Uh, charging wise, uh, we used 300 kilowatt hours charging in May, now using about 200 kilowatt hours or so in June. So that's a little bit down, but our house usage is actually up about 250 kilowatt hours or so. And that really is all air conditioning. Um, the air conditioning is running, you know, about two or three hours a day more than it normally would, you know, in between May and June. Uh, it's just been hot here. It's been above 100, and that thing is just running a lot more than it normally does. And at 4 to 5 kilowatt, uh, basically, you know, it's, it's going to use a bit of your solar throughout the day. So anything you can do to keep it, you know, running efficiently, clean that filter, maybe close some blinds or close vents in rooms you're not using is going to help it out. And you know, save that electricity so you can use it in other places. I do have to say I don't anticipate our usage really going up too much from here. I think this really will be the peak. I don't think it's going to go down because the heat really stays until October around here, but uh, you know, I think that this is probably the highest usage per day we're going to see. June like May was another fantastic production month for the solar. We did have one fewer day, but actually produced just 1.2 kilowatt hours less than May. That's 2,348 kilowatt hours. That's really amazing. Our top production for the month was 88.8 .8 kilowatt hours. Gotta imagine that's gotta be the highest we're gonna see all year. June 21st being the longest day of the year, so pretty, pretty impressive. Uh, Hopefully it won't go down so quickly here, but we'll have to see. Um, I'm imagining July is probably going to be just a touch lower than June, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. 
The power all utilization is up about 20% from May to June. Uh, we're going from about 50% of the power wall's capacity to about 60% from 20 kilowatt hours to 24 kilowatt hours. Uh, we've kind of found a sweet spot with our AC at 72 degrees that it doesn't use it too much overnight and keeps us from using the batteries too much and going to the grid, but keeps our house nice and cool and comfortable. So you're going to have to find that sweet spot in your house where your AC isn't going to deplete your batteries too quickly or, you know, or during peak times maybe if you only have one battery. Um, you know, in our case, as long as I'm not using more than 40 kilowatt hours in a day, and I'm not using the grid, I'm happy because I'm using self-powered mode. Despite June being the highest production month on average, uh, averaging 3 kilowatt hours more per day than May, we gave back quite a bit less in June than we did in May, 7 kilowatt hours on average less per day. And I really attribute that to that AC usage. Just keeping the house cool during the day uses that much more that we just don't send back to the grid. However, you know, we're still net negative here, negative 542 kilowatt hours. That's 20 bucks or so in, you know, excess credit. So not that much anyways, but still not using the grid at all, which is uh, my end goal, which is fantastic during the summer months here. And can't wait to give back more with a virtual power plant with all the uh, solar energy we've stored up during the day. Uh, again, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. Hit subscribe and like, and uh, we've got the six-month video coming up here soon. Hope you enjoy.